Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Hello. Welcome to the PyTorch tutorial. This is the first video of the PyTorch tutorial series. This video is about introduction to PyTorch and installing PyTorch. So what is PyTorch? It is a deep learning platform developed by the researchers from Facebook. The word Py in PyTorch stands for Python because it gives support to all the Python packages and it's used in Python language. The word Torch, however, comes from a pre-existing machine learning platform that is based on Lua programming language. So PyTorch, in a way, gives you a flavor of the Torch machine learning platform that is implemented through Python language. So why are we learning PyTorch? Because you might know that these days many other free deep learning implementation platforms are available. The reason that PyTorch is famous among beginners is its simplicity. PyTorch has a very good user-friendly API. So if you understand Python, it's very easy to implement even very complex neural networks in PyTorch. The reason that it's famous among experts is its dynamic computation graph. We will learn more about computation graph in the upcoming videos. For now, just understand that when you are implementing deep neural networks, in the back propagation stage, you need to take derivatives and a lot of derivatives. To understand those, we create computation graphs. And in most of the other platforms, computation graphs are static, but dynamic computation graph has some leverage over static computation graph. PyTorch also have GPU support. We will use CUDA that is developed by NVIDIA to add GPU for speed. It's very easy to debug codes in PyTorch. It's just like Python. So let's install PyTorch. So installing PyTorch is pretty straightforward. We are using the pip tool of Python to install PyTorch. One thing to notice here is that we are installing both Torch and Torch Vision. Torch has all the deep learning packages and Torch Vision has the data transformation, data sets, etc. Since I'm using Python 3, I'm, I've written pip3. If you're on Python 2, just write pip. And since we are running this command from notebook, I have used this exclamation mark, but if you're running it from your terminal, no need to add this exclamation mark, it will run as well. Next thing is we are importing PyTorch and checking its version. And it's a 1.1.0. Torch has CUDA availability, like I said, but if you have NVIDIA graphics card into your system, it will show true, but if you don't, it will show false. Right now, I'm on Google Collab, which has GPU support, it's free. So be sure to take advantage of that. And I have turned on the GPU, so I have CUDA available, so this flag is true. Next thing is we are checking the version of CUDA, it's 10.0.1.3.0. So once we understand the installation of PyTorch, let's check out some basic operations in PyTorch. Just like Python and uh, NumPy, we have torch.rand to create a random matrix or vector. Here I'm creating a three by three matrix. So it has float values. You can also create three by three matrix of zeros and three by three matrix, or like I have created a vector of five elements that has only ones. One thing you might have noticed by now that it says tensor. Tensor is just like an n-dimensional array. NumPy has nd array to represent arrays and 
torch has tensor it's it's core data type to hold uh, data it also supports numpy though and there is an interchangeability option in pytorch which i'll sh demonstrate in a minute if you write torch.tensor mind the capital t it will create a 3 by 3 tensor with random elements but you can also tell pytorch to create a specific matrix for example i have created a tensor of 2 by 2 where my elements are 1 3 and 5 7 so once i run this i'll create a 2 by 2 tensor of 1 3 5 7 like i mentioned before pytorch has tensor and numpy interchangeability option to demonstrate that i'll create numpy arrays and i'll change the data type from each other but first i'll demonstrate why tensor is better than numpy nd array the reason it is it's much faster than numpy arrays m1 has a thousand by thousand random matrix m2 also has a thousand by thousand random matrix so each of them has million elements each and in result i'm taking a dot product of m1 and m2 and i'm timing it so it's a computation heavy operation right so every time you run this you'll see that the tensor version of the dot product will always take lesser time than the one in the numpy operation m3 has a random matrix of thousand by thousand m4 also has a random matrix of thousand by thousand and when you do torch dot mm which is equivalent to m1 dot m2 for the dot product it will take the dot product and save the result in the result variable and when you take the time of each operation you will see that tensor operation will always take lesser time we can run it again and check the validity of the statement so now i'll tell you about the interchangeability as i told before m1 m2 both are numpy nd arrays whereas m3 and m4 are torch tensors but I can interchange their data type. Just have to write torch dot from numpy, and you can change a numpy into a torch dot tensor. Since M1 and M2 both are ten tensors now, I cannot implement M1 dot M2. I have to write torch dot mm for taking dot product. You can also check their data type. They were initially numpy dot nd arrays, but now they should become torch dot tensors yep and i can do the vice versa m3 and m4 were torch dot tensor but i'm changing the, their data type from tensor to numpy just have to write m3 dot cpu dot data dot numpy and they'll become numpy in the arrays like i told before since it's a uh, numpy nd array you cannot write torch.mm you have to write m3 dot dot m4 and you can check their data types later as m3 and m4 has become numpy nd array thanks for watching